Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for June 17th, 18th, and 19th, Friday through Sunday. Now, you know that I'm going to use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards, and I will then pick one from my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards, and then I'll also pick one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, this is just the introduction, and this will be the same on all the videos. If you want to go straight to your readings, which will use the cards I just talked about, then just go down here to the description, and there will be a timestamp so you can bypass the introduction. Hope you'll watch it at least once. Now, for this overview introduction, I am going to use my weight rider. Uh, traditional tarot or right rider weight oh and i'm going to use my colette baron reed the good tarot now i have prayed meditated and infused all the decks with reiki energy but remember this is a general reading it may or may not resonate take what you like leave the rest okay i am an intuitive channeler i open myself to higher power source god holy spirit and whatever the words come out, they just come out. Now, um, the planets are in, you know, are still going into that alignment that I talked about. June 24th, it will be this grand planetary alignment where there's the seven planets that are, you know, the five you'll be able to see, the two you'll have to use a um, telescope or binoculars. Um, but that, you know, it, it's one of these really um, intense energies yet again that we have been going through. Uh, the other thing is the planets aren't doing a whole lot except getting into this alignment. Um, and so, I mean, that in itself is probably very strong. The thing that we're watching right now, besides the ascension energies that I've been posting, um, and, you know, and yes, they have been, they have been making its mark on so many of us. Um, I've also been posting a little bit about the Schumann resonance. Now, not sure, not, I don't know that much about it, um, except for what I have given you. So, but you can do your own research on that too. Uh, today, and I am doing this on the full moon, it was very, very intense. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what we have. So watch, watch the community page. Watch my Facebook, my Instagram you know, for, um, you know, just, just for those little things, okay? Uh, let's see what we have here. What does higher power? Higher power, what would you like us to know? What's going on in the universe? What do we have to be aware of? Remember, too, one of the things I'm always telling you is that no matter what's going on in the universe, we still have to live our life, and we need to be fearless in what we do, Okay. Fear is the tool of the devil and tries to keep us from obtaining whatever it is that we're supposed to be obtaining, whatever it is that we signed up for, because we did sign up for this time. Next card, I mean first card, one, two, and three. Three cards. Let's see what we have here. First card is, well, I love this one. This is the sun. This is... We're doing everything right. Things are working out the way we're supposed to be do the way they're supposed to be happening. Now, sun energy is also Leo energy, so we might be waiting a little bit until Leo energy comes. Um, you know, the twenty first, we're going to be going into Cancer. We also have the you know the uh, summer solstice for the northern. And it would be then the winter solstice for the southern hemisphere. So there is that change, but it's Cancer next. But then. When we get into July, what is it going to be, the 22nd, 23rd, we will be going into Leo season. So there is a lot of Leo energy here. There is a lot of, um, you know, positive things happening, positive changes happening, positive, um, the news of positive, um, of just positive changes, okay? So we have a 19, 19, we have that one energy, numbers have, numbers have meanings, so we have a one new beginning, 10 is a transitional energy, 9 is you've got everything you need, let's wrap it up. You add 1 plus 9 together, it becomes that 10 again, and then you add it, you know, 1 plus 0, 0 is God's source energy, it becomes a 1 again. But there's a lot of trust, there's a lot of celebration, there's a lot of just feeling like things are happening. There's also, too, I mean, I do like the fact that this little guy is completely you know, exposed to, exposed to all, you know, all eyes, and yet has no shame, has no, 
uh, vulnerability. It's just kind of like, take me as I am. This is who I am. We have the sunflowers growing. We have the sun shining. Um, you know, and we just have, it's just a wonderful weekend, a wonderful time. Okay, let's go on. Next card is, this is reversed. So now we have a four. Four has a stability to it. It has organization. It also has leadership to it. This is the four of rods, or sometimes called wands. We'll go with rods right now. This is our fire energy. This is our Leo again, Sagittarius again. Aries energy. It is positive. You know, it's very um, committed. You know, think of what fire does. It can warm you. It can burn you. But it's it's something that's very consuming. Passionate energy. There is a celebratory energy here, which you know I'm always surprised because you know I'm I I am what I what I call a, a realist, which is uh, you know an experienced optimist. So it's like okay. Yeah, right. What's going on in this world? But we're having the sun shining. We're having the four of rods, which is celebration time, which is something good happening. You know, this is weddings, um, you know, just coming together and just just celebrating whatever it is that we need to celebrate. So let's see what else we have here. Next card is we have the two of pentacles. Two is choices. It is coming together. Um, it is crossroads. Uh, pentacles is our earth energy, our money, job, career energy. It is our Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. It is, you know, there, there has to come a balance of our money, balance of what's going on in the money situation. So something maybe with money is going on that may not necessarily be all that bad. In fact, there's celebration, there's sun shining. Not saying, I mean, I don't know about you, but my gas is quite high over here. Um, but this is all very positive. This is all positive energies for this weekend. So maybe we're going to hear something that's really going to be wonderful. We will see what we will see. Okay, let's see. But this is a balance. This is a balance. This is balancing of money, balancing of income outcome. So let's see what we have with the Colette Baron Reed. One day I'll remember her name. It, you know, Let's see, let's see. Higher power, what can you tell us about this? Because I don't see how that's going to happen. But you know what? It's not up to me, right? It's not up to me. Here we go. Let's see, let's see. Sun shining, celebratory energy, balancing of money. Who's to say? Who's to say? Well, higher power, higher power, what do we need to know? What do we need to know? We'll just pick one. Now, so what we have here, this it was reversed, and remember, reverse cards have really strong stuff for me. So this is the messenger of water. This would be the page of cups. So um, all of the court cards have dual or dual, yeah, dual um, energies to them. The pages have, um, you know, their underlying energy is our earth energy, such as I told you. Our knights, their underlying energy is our fire energy. The queen, the queen's underlying energy is water, which is your Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, very emotional. And then the king's underlying energy is air, which is our Aquarius, Gemini, and it's our Libra. It's thought processes, hearing news. It's, um, you know, it's just very cerebral type of planning energy, okay? So here we have the messenger of water. So messenger, again, the underlying energy is that earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, money, job, career, but the water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional. So this early, you know, usually when I see the pages, pages is going after something that's very tangible, that's, you know, that's obtainable also. But we also have that water energy, so there's also this deep heart, you know, this deep um, heart wishes too. So the page of water is going after something tangible, something, you know, something that they want. They really, really, really want. It could be a job because the page does have that money energy to it, but it also has a home energy. But that water energy just really wants what the heart wants. So, you know, the messenger of water many times over has a new romantic leaning to it, has a, a new spiritual leaning to it, 
but it's again it's going after what it really truly wants now again we have that spiritual aspect to it we have that romantic aspect to it but then we go back to the pages underlying and we have that money job career so there's an emotionally charged situation and the messenger of water because pages are very enthusiastic and they they don't really know how to take no for an answer they just re they just go for what they want and they you know so the messenger of water is going for broke and going where the heart wants to go so interesting stuff let's see how this all pans out like i said i'm a realist and it's kind of like oh but you know what um higher power and the cards they always surprise me and they pretty much you know say what needs to be said okay so let's take a breath let's see what we're going to have to see take a moment to like share subscribe click on the bell for notifications and why don't we start our readings now hello my gemini's and happy birthday to you i am always surprised when i get really positive um readings in the introduction because like i said i'm a realist i was like what what's going on but you know what our god our source holy spirit is of creation and not of destruction though some things do have to be torn down in order to be created but let's see let's see what we have for our gemini's from higher power higher power what do you want to tell our gemini's for them specifically for our Gemini's. Here we go. Let's see. One, two, and three. Three cards. All of them face down. Put those cards over there. We're quite close. Let's let's move this up just a touch. Okay, there we go. A little bit off, but there. Okay. These are reverse strong stuff, so let's see what we have for my Gemini's for this weekend. First card is the Ten of Earth. Well, the 10, 10 transitional, one new beginning, zero God source energy. It is all transitional, things moving into a better place for you. Earth energy is, again, our Capricorn, Taurus, our Virgo energy, money, job, career. This is a, this is a card of stability. This is a card of really having, you know, maybe not necessarily everything that you want met, but having a lot of your, um, your, your um, comfort, a lot of your security, a lot, you know, it's, it, this is a job, uh, this is a card that talks about having a roof over your head and food in your belly and people around you that are very supportive too. So this is the Ten of Earth, very, very, very wonderful card. Um, doesn't give you everything that you want, but it gives you more than maybe what you've had. So this is a very happy family life, financial security. Finding magic in the little things in life. Next card, reversed. The king of water. So, king of water. Hmm. King's underlying energy is our air energy, sword energy. Um, Aries, Gemini energy, also our Libra energy. It is thought processes, thinking things through. Definitely, um, definitely learning from the school of hard knocks if you want to say that because water has our cancer pisces scorpio we're um you know we're going to be going into cancer soon enough we still have that south scorpio node so that's in itself is kind of a you know making things change all around us too so that we still have that water energy around us the king of water is somebody that has like i said has gone through the school of hard knocks has learned every has learned so much by his experiences has really gone and ri ridden road has he has he has many he has ridden the roller coaster of life he has had the highs the joys and he has had the lows the despair but he still comes out as somebody who counts his blessings that says life is better than what it you know life is better than the alternative life is something that um, there's always hope and where there's hope there is always life so there is a really strong energy here with the king now there's smarts so it's not necessarily like you know he has no real uh, you know, it, i'm not saying he has a basis he knows reality he's not delusional he knows reality but he keeps going and he keeps hoping and he knows that things will get better and things are you know that things will change and just you know take it day by day by day now the king of water is also about following your heart about you know make putting into your 
putting into action some of those plans, those desires, those thoughts that you've been maybe sitting on, not necessarily working, you know, working um, towards. Now, the thing about that is it does seem like you have a good support system to help you move into that direction. So let's see. Trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Charity work. And there is that there is that thought, the more you give, the more you receive. The next, the seven of water. Now seven, divine umbrella. Okay, divine protection, divine intervention, sometimes divine interference. But again, we have that water energy. So there is this emotional thing going on. The thing about the seven, water, seven of water is that there are choices. A lot of this, you may have felt, you may have felt that you have come to a place that you were just kind of directed into, but we, you did have choices, and your choices got you to where you're at. But the thing about the seven of water is also saying, as you find your security, as you find your happier place, as you find that the emotional maturity and the, the physical um, security, you now have choices to do many, many things, wondrous things. So, uh, you know, I'm hoping that this is very, very true for my Geminis. I'm hoping that, you know, this, but then because of this, you now have opportunities. You now have, um, you know, new directions that you can go into. Now, the part of this seven up water is really choose wisely. Pray over it. Meditate. Don't just jump at whatever, you know, just because it sounds good. I mean, maybe it is good. But again, this is all about choices, so choose wisely. A complex decision, the need to do research. Stop procrastinating. So now let's go on here. Let's go on to the John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. So this looks like, this is like a, a time of, this weekend is kind of like a time of stability for you. Is is not necessarily jump into anything, but to review your options. Review what is out there for you. And also compare it to what you've gone through. Compare it to where you've been. You know, that king of water, like I said, he's been through the emotional grinder and you know, and he need, you know, he's just advising you. He's just saying, hey, don't jump. You know, maybe you need to be a little bit, you know, like the set, like here it's saying the need to do research. So he's kind of giving you a little caution, but he is saying that there is wonderful things. There are choices and you are ready to make some new choices. Okay, so let's go on here and see what we've got. John Holland, Psychic Tarot and Oracle Cards. Rejoice in celebration. So you have some more water energy here. You have that three energy. Um, you know, do something, say something, have two other people to help you with this. And this is, again, very powerful, creative, also celebratory. And so whatever, wherever you're going with this, my Geminis, this looks like it's a lovely week. Be a little thoughtful in your choices and in where your new direction is going and taking you. But also, too, just, you know, just enjoy the moment and enjoy that you do have more of a future coming, okay? So let's go on here. Let's see. Crystal or energy for my Geminis to help you through this. Let's see. Let's see. You've grown. You have grown and learned. You have gone through, like I said, you've gone through the grinder with that king of water, but you've learned. You've learned from it. Okay. Rose quartz. Well, this goes really well with this. Okay. Unconditional love, romance, nourishing, soothing. Wonderful stone to have. Okay. Let me know, my Geminis, what this is all about for you. Because this is, there's a lot of hope here. There's a lot of hope and there's a lot of possibilities for you. Okay, take a moment, my Geminis, to like, share, subscribe. Click on that bell for notifications. As always, my Geminis, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.